Now, what are these waves? What is an ordinary wave and what is an extraordinary wave? Now, this diagram will help us to understand what is an extraordinary wave and what is an ordinary wave. In this, in the first direction, I can see my wave is my ray is going in this direction. That means this is my propagation direction. This is my wave normal. And both of them are parallel to each other. Both of them are parallel to each other. Why? Because if I generate if I generate my wave normal, sorry, wave front, this is my wave front. This is my another wave front. And my wave is propagating <coughs> perpendicular to this wave front. And everything is everything is uh, symmetrical uh, in, in the example that we have already talked about. Now let us move on to the next uh, wave. So this was my crest. This was my crest. I joined my crests together and this is my wave front. This is my second wave front, third wave front, fourth wave front, fifth wave front. All of them are parallel to each other. Now what is the direction that is perpendicular to this? These wave fronts is this direction. And this direction is the direction of my wave normal. But what is the direction of my ray itself? The direction of my ray is actually in this direction. My ray direction is not parallel to my wave normal. So these are the two scenarios that we have to keep in mind. The first is in which the wave normal is parallel to the ray. And the second one, the wave normal is not parallel to the ray. This is where the distinction begins between an ordinary wave and an extraordinary wave. An ordinary wave, as the name suggests, suggests the wave normal is parallel to the ray direction. An extraordinary ray is doing something extraordinary and the wave normal is not parallel to the ray direction. These will come later in the optical section as well. So, ordinary wave is known as the O wave. Extraordinary wave is known as the E wave. 